welcome back, it's Shelby, and today we are making cute little party ice. So it really doesn't even need to be for a party, it's just like a cute way to make ice for yourself or your friends or your guests or whomever you wanna have over or have enjoy, even if it's just you. So basically what I have is I have three different molds. These are like rods, there's like six of them. And these are like swirly stars, and then these are like the cutest little flowers. And I got these at Ikea. They're just like silicone molds for like baking or candy making or really anything, but today we're using them to make ice cubes. So what I'm going to be starting with is filtered water that I've boiled and then allowed to cool down because you don't want to use it while it's boiling. But um, yeah, we filter our water anyway and um, boiling it, what it does is you know how when you like, like fill an ice tray full of water, you put it in the freezer and it comes out and it's like all cloudy with like the bubbles and everything. Boiling the water first gets rid of that because like all the little bubbles come up while it's boiling. Then when you put it in there, it just comes out a lot more clear and just like prettier and then you can see the fruit and everything inside of it. So I also have some fruit, that's what we're using to bring in the pop of color. I have some raspberries and a lemon and I thought the red and yellow would be a really nice addition to the ice cubes to add to a drink, either water or lemonade or soda or really anything you wanna put it in. These are just like really fun, cute little ways to kind of spice up a water glass or just a beverage in general because they're just really pretty. And they're super easy to make, like it's literally almost not even any more difficult than making regular ice, which is just putting water in a tray. But I will link what you need down below. If I can't find these exact trays, I will link something similar along with my socials if you wanna follow me on Instagram. But uh, yeah, if you like the video or the craft, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let's get going. So I'm starting just by preparing my fruit. I have washed the raspberries, kind of dried them a little bit, put them off to the side, and now I'm just slicing up a lemon, and I managed to choose a really dull knife, so I ended up having to switch that out. But basically, just make your lemon slices like super thin so that they can fit into the mold. I'm going to be using these mainly in the rods. So they just have to fit in there. Once your lemons or whatever else you want to use, cucumbers, really anything, are done and sliced, go ahead and just put them in the mold. Like, it's super easy. This is essentially just something stuck in an ice cube. So definitely not rocket science. Just, you know, pop them in the mold and uh, make it pretty. So for the other two molds, I'm going to be doing the same thing that I did with the rods. Uh, for the stars, I'm starting with a raspberry. I am putting the whole of the raspberry up, so when I fill it with water, it will fill that part of the raspberry. And then I'm just kind of dicing up my lemon and seeing if I can get it to fit in the edges of the stars. Um, see if I have enough for that. It's kind of making it a lot of fruit to water ratio, but we'll see how it works out. Last up is my cute little floral ones. So these are just gonna be raspberries because I'm out of lemon and have a ton of raspberries left because I didn't put them in the initial mold. So one mold with lemons, one mold with raspberries, and one mold with both. So again, the only thing I'm really doing is putting the whole of the raspberry up because you're pouring water in from the top and if you have a giant air bubble in the center, that's not going to be helpful at all. Okay, so we're going to add our water. I'm pouring from a measuring cup. You definitely do not need a measuring cup by any stretch of the imagination, but I thought that would be easier to pour from than a larger vessel. So I'm really just filling it up with water. Pour it out of a pitcher, a cup, whatever you want to do. Make sure you get enough water in there to cover everything, hold it together. you get the inside of the berry where there's a little hole. So I have a little extra water on there. I will pour that off in a minute. So I've poured off the extra water and now the water's just kind of filling up all the little slots and I'm gonna pop these into the freezer for a few hours and then we'll have our ice. Okay guys, so it has been a few hours and the ice is out of the freezer. Here's how it turned out. Um, I mean, right now it's just kind of in the trays. You can see it's not perfectly clear, but boiling the water first definitely helped. It would be a lot cloudier and bubblier than this if we hadn't done that. So here we go. 
That's why I love silicone molds. Everything just pops right out. Look how cute that is. So I have a glass of water, just water, and look how adorable that looks. Like it just makes everything so pretty. I love it. So we're gonna add in some flower ones. Pop these out. So that's the mold and it's pink because of the raspberry, but just look how like cute that is. So also going into the water. So this is literally just water. If it was like lemonade or something, it'd be much more festive, but like it already just looks like summery and festive. And I mean, I know it's fall, but like this is a cute drink that I would want to drink. And the sides, lemon water is really good for you. So it's like, you know, basically infused water. Another one, we'll toss those in. So yeah, these are just super cute, love these. I think they turned out awesome. I'm gonna try my little fancy star ones with the lemons. Honestly, this is a lot of fruit in there and a very little amount of water, so I'm not convinced 100%. They will work, oh my God, they totally did. Look at that. So cool, so cool. Into the water it goes. There we go. Look at that. These are awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna pop out a few more just so that you can get some close-ups of them, um, put them in a bowl so that you can see them. But yeah, these are just a really easy way to make adorable little ice cubes. Like I said, they don't take any more work than normal ice. You just put fruit in the trays first. But yeah, just a really fun, easy way to glam up your drinks for your next party or just for your night and by yourself. Anyway guys, I will do some close-ups at the end. I hope you liked the video. If you did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I really do love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here again soon. Bye for now. So these are two of each of the ice cubes just in a white bowl just to display it. Obviously this is not what you do with ice cubes, but I want you to be able to see them outside of liquid. So yeah, this is the dual fruit one that we did. It's kind of cool. The lemon ones I think are my favorite honestly and I do really love these flower ones they're really simple but they're just adorable and bright red and they just look delicious and they will be because they're raspberries this is the ice in a drink so yeah once the ice melts then you'll have that beautiful fruit and um, yeah overall I think this is an awesome little craft kind of hosting hack and um, hope you guys like it thanks so much for watching